Hey everybody, uh, quick update. Got the new block plate in from Summit. And I just want to show you the difference. Uh, this is a steel one. And you can see this thing is very straight. Uh, this is an aluminum one. And you can see this is all bent. And you can see obviously all the bends in it uh, where it was where my flywheel was making contact that was actually the weight and then this the center hub even because this thing was bent so I have actually had another I've got a brand new one of these also these cheap eBay flimsy ones um, and I was tempted to kind of straighten it out and put it on there but I figured you know I'm not gonna waste my time so I just went ahead and ordered one from Summit a steel one not an aluminum one and as you can see this thing is nice and flat I'm not going to have any interference issues with this one and obviously you can use this with the uh, 157 tooth or you knock this out if you got a 164 tooth flywheel to move your starter out a little bit and then of course this can be knocked out for an, an inspection plate on an SFI bell housing or what have you but I won't have to mess with any of that um, so I just ordered this Saturday. It's Monday afternoon. Got delivered sometime while I was at work today. So the trans will be going back in tonight. And again, this is uh, 60 thousandths, um, excuse me. Uh, this is a, uh, what is it? Yeah, 60 thousandths uh, steel versus the cheapo, flimsy, uh, bent up aluminum one. I mean, you can see how it, how it flexes. And obviously, it's causing interference issues. So, go ahead and uh, spend a couple extra bucks and get the steel one. Is my that's my recommendation. Thanks all.